flowers. Welcome to your channel. Subscribe to Gate more educational videos. Hit that subscribe button to join us, the sun and the moon. Fact 1. The sun is a massive star that provides us with light and heat. Fact 2. The moon is not luminous on its own. It reflects the sun's light to appear visible to us. In the vast expanse of the universe, there are two lights that have captured the imagination of humanity since the dawn of time. The sun and the moon, these celestial bodies have been a source of wonder, inspiration, and fascination for generations today. We embark on a journey to explore the mysteries of these two lights, their properties, and their role in light and life on Earth. Join us as we delve into the fascinating tale of the sun and the moon. The sun is a massive ball of hot plasma that provides light and heat to our planet. It has a diameter of approximately 1.39 million kilometers, which makes it about 109 times larger than Earth. The sun's surface temperature is around 5,500 degrees Celsius, but its core can reach temperatures of up to 15 million degrees Celsius. This immense heat is generated by nuclear fusion reactions that occur deep within the sun's core. In addition to providing light and heat, the sun plays a crucial role in the solar system. Its gravity holds the planets in their orbits, and its energy drives the weather patterns on Earth. Without the sun, life as we know it would not exist. The moon is a fascinating celestial body that has captivated human imagination for centuries. It is the fifth largest moon in the solar system and is approximately one quarter the size of Earth. Despite its relatively small size, the moon has a significant impact on our planet, from regulating tides to stabilizing Earth's rotation. One of the most striking features of the moon is its phases, which are caused by the interaction between the sun, Earth, and the moon. As the moon orbits around Earth, different portions of its surface are illuminated by the sun, creating the familiar cycle of phases we observe from Earth. These phases have been used for centuries to track time and are an important cultural symbol in many societies. The light of the sun is crucial for the survival of all life on Earth. Without it, our planet, or planet, would be a cold and barren wasteland. One of the most important functions of sunlight is photosynthesis, which is the process by which plants convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and glucose. This process not only produces the air we breathe, but also provides the foundation for the food chain. In addition to photosynthesis, sunlight is also responsible for the production of vitamin D in our bodies. Vitamin D is essential for strong bones and teeth, as well as a healthy immune system. When sunlight hits our skin, it triggers a reaction that produces this vital nutrient. However, it's important to remember to protect your skin from too much sun exposure as it can lead to skin damage and even cancer. As we know, the moon doesn't produce its own light. Instead, it reflects the light of the sun. The amount of reflected light that reaches Earth varies depending on the position of the moon in relation to the sun and Earth. This is what creates the different phases of the moon that we observe from Earth during a full moon. The moon is on the opposite side of the Earth from the sun. This means that the entire illuminated side of the moon is facing us giving us a bright, fully lit view of the moon. On the other hand, during a new moon, the moon is between the earth and the sun, with the unilluminated side facing us. This makes the moon appear dark and invisible to the naked eye. There are two types of eclipses, solar and lunar. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and earth, blocking out the sun's light. This can only happen during a new moon phase. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth passes between the sun and moon, casting a shadow on the moon. This can only happen during a full moon phase. During a solar eclipse, the moon's shadow falls on Earth, creating a path of totality where the sun is completely blocked out. This can only be seen from a specific location on Earth. During a lunar eclipse, the moon appears reddish in color due to the Earth's atmosphere bending the sunlight around it. As we come to the end of our journey, Exploring the sun and the moon, we are left with a profound appreciation for the harmony between these two celestial bodies. While they may seem vastly different, they work together in perfect balance to create the light and life that sustains us here on Earth. The sun provides the energy that drives photosynthesis, which is essential for all plant life on Earth. It also produces vitamin D, which is necessary for human health. Meanwhile, 
the moon's gravitational pull creates the tides, which play a critical role in regulating our planet's climate and weather patterns. Together, the sun and moon are responsible for the delicate balance of life on Earth.